Hi lovely ones, we are today clearing the saviour complex. So, ensure you're open 100% to receive the benefits of this clearing. And let's get started. Right then, this one's an easy, uh, easy, interesting one, should I say. So let's see where it's sitting. Blocks to, um, well, clearing, clearing the saviour complex. Not blocks, clearing the saviour complex. Uh, it comes up quite a lot actually with uh, clients, especially the very spiritual ones. 15% positive and 100% negative. It's an ascended master level of consciousness, which is a few notches. It's still too low above incarnational level at the bottom. We want it to be all the way up here and all the way up here as a minimum to radiant up in the paradigm level and we want it to be at 100 positive down to zero negative so high self team are clearing away your high self teams that we're working with are clearing away to bring this up to 100 positive down to zero negative and up to radiant lovely paradigm level of consciousness so what can i tell you on this so as they're clearing this away so this system as I've said many times before, was founded by Robert E. Detzler. So check out his book, Soul Recreation and the Freedom Path. There's also one on spiritual healing, which is really interesting as well. Um, any further information about SRT, uh, contact the Spiritual Response Association based in the United States. I know a lot of you had never heard of SRT before uh, finding my channel, so... If you want to train in SRT, contact the Spiritual Response Association or my teacher, who is malabikashaw.com. She trained with Robert E. Detzler himself many, many years ago, and she taught me, must be about 10 years ago by now. Um, I don't coach people in SRT and I don't train people in SRT because it's not a pathway I want to go down. But I'm very, very happy to do these free taster group sessions. It just gives you a, a snippet of uh, SRT for your highest good to help you. A lot of people get a lot of help from these, so I'm very happy to do them for you. And if you want to work with me on a one-to-one -one with a, a full SRT clearing, check out my website. But I also do coaching which is a kind of co combination of coaching, therapy, healing, guidance, um, intuitive, using all my tools, all details on my website, all details under this clearing as well. Right, where are we going first? And then I'll come to the saviour bit a little bit more. So we're on chart one again, master chart, and it wants to give you a spiritual kick, which has come up before, which for me is a bit of a jolt out of entrenched patterns but also uh robert says sometimes the soul doesn't want to let go of the programs because it's running some kind of self-punishment at some level so uh we're giving you a spiritual kick uh, to get you out of um out of that so that you're open to receive so under savior this is what robert wrote under savior so savior there are two levels of savior a first level saviour is a soul who has gained through many incarnations the wisdom and ability to reach spiritual truths and to heal. There are many such souls incarnated on this planet. Um, so I haven't got my reading glasses on, so that's why I'm, it's a bit um, jolted, my reading. Uh, there are many such souls incarnated on this planet. They are under the direction of Jesus, who is the master soul, saviour of planet Earth. A second level saviour is the master soul of one planet and there is one such saviour for every planet in the one universe. Chances are that you are a second level saviour on another planet and came here as a first level saviour to teach or write about spiritual principles or as a healer. On the planet where a soul was the second level saviour, they had exactly 2,700 lives, which is minimum. Jesus had that exact number on this planet and has never been on another planet. Obviously, there's different, different information about that because I've heard different, different things. But um, only take what resonates you, with you, whatever you hear, whatever you hear from whatever teacher. Right, we're going to 6B and I'll continue once we've got to 6B. 
block to acceptance. So let's just clear that block to acceptance away. Right. So one out of 15 billion second level saviors is chosen at the point of the divine plan for the one universe. Thus, from the very beginning, there is a plan for redemption of the soul. If a client has difficulty getting a no response with the pendulum, they may have been one out of 15 billion saviors chosen in the beginning before creation. They may have said, no, I don't want to be a saviour. Spirit said you can't say no. So once that is clear, the client or student can get a no response using the pendulum. That's interesting. So if you have any trouble with that, then uh, using your pendulum, that might be why. And the saviour contract is when a soul decides to incarnate for their second round of studies, they may convince other souls to incarnate with them. I will come back to that in a moment. So that's just clearing that away. Let's go back to the next chart 11, which is soul energy clearing, soul energy programming. We have a codependency of different aspects of the soul there. So let's just clear that away and I'll continue. The other souls may have resisted out of fear that they might become involved in discordant energy and get stuck in the process of incarnation forever. So the soul who convinces them to incarnate for the second round says, I will pick up your programs and relieve you of them. This is symbolic of the serpent in the Garden of Eden who convinced Eve to eat of the fib forbidden tree so that's in genesis no one can pick up another soul's programs and thus relieve them of the personal responsibility of handling their own they simply add an unnecessary burden to themselves and the other soul still has to work out their own stuff so the savior path spirit confirms that this is the most difficult and challenging path of the soul the requirements to be successful are stringent and demanding I'll come back to that in a moment. So it's still on chart 11. So back there. It never lets me move on from a chart until I've finished what well, I need to clear on it. Genetic soul coding there. Anything else? Dysfunction of thought. So let's clear those away as well. The, uh, so Jesus's life is an example of control and forgiveness. This is all taken from the Freedom Path or Soul Recreation, one of those books, by the way. His total expression was one of wisdom and love. Can we be the same? So Saviour Programs, when a soul has the message that they were the serpent who caused others to incarnate, they also have a Saviour Program to pick up the programs of the souls they convinced to incarnate for their second round of studies. Two rounds of incarnations are required for the soul to gain sufficient knowledge and ability to help spirit in the process of creating new universes. Some souls are resistant to incarnating for the second round and need convincing that it is vital and important if they would become creators. So it's it's quite a complex area, that whole saviour area. Um, Yeah, it's quite interesting, isn't it? Makes you think. Might be worth asking if you're used to dowsing yourself, if you've ever, ever had a role as a saviour there in accordance from what I've just read out. So, um, yeah, difficult pathway. Chart 13, programmes before creation. This is King of Kings level. Subconscious odds and ends. So let's just clear those away. So imagine having a saviour programme to pick up the programmes of the souls that you've convinced to incarnate for the second round of studies. That's a lot of programmes, isn't it? That's a lot of programmes. We really don't want to be taking on. If you've done that before, I guess this is an opportunity to clear those programs away. That whole saviour complex thing, a bit like the Messiah complex, really. The saviour complex is, you know, it's... Um, 
very sacrificial, isn't it, in many ways? I suppose that's more Messiah complex, but it's... It's tough. <laughs> it's hard. If you're running, you know, to pick up the programs of all those that you convinced to incarnate again. That's pretty tough going. Right, chart 14. So good to clear these out. Pre-fall of consciousness creating the illusion. Other souls bonded to the soul. Again, I'm not going to go into any details or numbers. I'm just going to ask that they're cleared away. And that would make sense. Clearing the saviour complex if you've got other souls bonded to the soul. That makes perfect sense there. Saviour contracts, isn't it? Fascinating. The, the thing about the SRT system is I never stop learning uh, from it. We never stop learning anyway, do we, spiritually? But um, it's, uh, it's fascinating. It's very, very powerful. It's probably the most potent, potent pendulum system that I've used. Um, yeah, because of the levels it it clears at the levels of consciousness it clears at is uh yeah powerful stuff clearing away twenty four is rebirth conscious mind inside active memories right let's clear those active memories away at all levels of consciousness in chart three and i'm not going to um ask any more about those either I'm just going to ask that they're cleared Right, what else? Chart 30, final light. We're clearing the infinity stream. So let's just clear that away. Just came across something else here that uh, Robert wrote, which is called Mirror of Light. So the term there is a light at the end of the tunnel has often been used as a term of encouragement. I say it is a mirror at the end of the tunnel. Oh, sorry, that's my fault. Are we still clearing? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Each soul is like an oil lamp. There is an in inexhaustible supply of oil and the wick is always lit and never burns out or varies in intensity. If your life is discordant, soot accumulates on the glass globe and the light appears to diminish. Clearing with SRT is clear, cleaning the globe. Once the soot is removed, your light is brighter and life is more harmonious. That is the light you see at the end of the tunnel. It is the mirror reflecting your purified light back at you. Isn't that lovely? That's beautiful. And 
we are on looks like 28 which is final forgiveness multiple pathways again that came up last time so let's just clear those multiple pathways away. Okay, we're ready for mop up. So let's just go to mop up. We're just doing a very quick mop up. My normal list that I use during mop up is here. Well, I'm very thorough in my personal clearings. Um, let's clear away anything connected to Saviour Complex for you. Any programs to hear to hold programs for others, clearing those away. I say this is just a taster, but I hope it helps you. That's what I do them for. Right, okay, so are we done? Self team happy soul happy will hold yeah is there anything else to be done at this moment in time no so where are we now 100 positive zero negative feels much lighter can really feel it through the pendulum radiant love new paradigm level there you go another one completed and um, drink lots of water allow three clear days for your old neural pathways to fall away don't do more than two of these mini taster clearings group clearings a day uh, allow the body self-care self-nurturing to integrate and i will see you on the next clearing any uh constructive comments um below any feedback uh, that you get any responses you get from the body to these always fascinating to hear so send you so much love bye sweethearts